sponsored by Andy Cine. Welcome to another GThentic review. Today we're taking a look at the Andy Cine ACM1 compact on camera microphone. I just want to say a huge thank you to Andy Cine for sending out this microphone to me. Thank you. I must say also that having purchased the Blue Yeti microphone that it didn't come with any accessories really, you literally just got the microphone, USB cable and a desk stand. So Andy Cine has gone way above and beyond to include two different type of wind protectors and two shock mounts for the microphones along with the required cables. Alright so for many people looking to start their YouTube career or just to create content for YouTube, one of the first things that you want to get is a good microphone. Microphones can cost quite a bit of money so for someone looking to get started with very little money I decided that I was going to search to try and find a microphone that was pretty decent but didn't cost an arm and a leg. So I reached out to Andy Cine and they sent me this compact on camera microphone the ACM1. I mean I was going to purchase it anyway but big thanks to Andy Cine for sending out this microphone. They didn't ask for me to do a review or anything, but I decided to review it anyway. So one of the things that I've always looked at is just to try and find creative ways of improving my audio. So if I try to record directly into the laptop, it sounds very tinny and it's not very pleasant. So I needed a way to improve the audio quality that I was getting from my laptop. Initially, I tried the Blue Yeti microphone, it cost over $130 when it's on sale and it picked up quite a bit of background noise. So because of that, it wasn't really suitable for what I was doing. So I decided to look for another type of microphone and then I came across the Andy Cine microphone which was much more affordable at only 20 something dollars. I'll provide links in the description below, please go and check out the Andy Cine store on Amazon and you could purchase using the links there. There are affiliate links and I get a small kickback if you do decide to use those links. Alright so we're going to be testing out the microphone. So the test that I'm going to be doing is just to see what the microphone sounds like in an untreated room. I'm going to be testing the microphone using just the mic body only. Then I'm going to put the windshield on it that's the foam one and then i'm going to install the dead cat just to see if there's any difference with the sound quality additionally i'm going to have a fan blowing directly into the microphone and i'm going to do the same three tests again but this time with the fan blowing directly into the microphone just to see how well it picks up audio all right so in that first test there using the fan with just the microphone body only you realize that it's very difficult for you to hear anything basically it's impossible so let's move on to the next test all right so this is another test using the treated soft wind protector that's the default one that comes in the box let's hear what it sounds like well as you just heard in that test with just the foam windshield only the microphone picks up quite a bit of wind noise and it's still very difficult for you to hear. So let's move on to the third test with the fan on. All right. Okay, so now we're going for the dead cat. This comes in the box. So all I've done is just to fit the dead cat over the microphone and I'm recording with the fan blowing directly into the microphone just to see how it sounds. All right, so from this test, this was with the fan blowing directly into the deluxe windshield, otherwise known as the dead cat. The fan was basically in full blast and you are still able to hear what I'm saying quite clearly. So it works really, really well. So we will move on to the final set of tests. In this test, the fan will be off and it's still in an untreated room with relative, relatively low background noise. So let's hear what it sounds like. All right, so this is just a test now recording in Final Cut Pro. No change to the default settings or anything. 
I'm just using the microphone straight out of the box, plugged into the computer, and I'm recording without any sort of wind protection included. All right, now I'm recording using the default foam wind protector that comes on the microphone. I'm using this in an untreated room just to see how the recording sounds. This is also being recorded in Final Cut Pro. Default settings, absolutely no change whatsoever. All right, this is the final test. This one is using the included dead cat that comes in the box. Also recording in Final Cut Pro using the default settings. Microphone is approximately six inches away from my mouth as we speak. I'm being, and I'm hand holding the microphone. So let's hear what it sounds like so we can compare. All the previous tests were recorded with the microphone basically pointed at me. So what I'm going to do now is just to keep talking and I'm going to turn the microphone. The microphone is now at the side just to see how the audio changes with microphone orientation. Now finally I'll turn the microphone away from me so now the microphone is pointed away from me. Let's see how it sounds. And I'll go over to the other side of the microphone. The microphone is now sideways. And then finally, I'll have the microphone pointed towards my mouth again. And just for comparison, this is what it sounds like when I record directly into the laptop. All right, so you've heard all the different testing done with the fan on directly into the microphone, with the microphone body only, the microphone with the default windshield, which is the foam windshield that comes fitted to the microphone out of the box and also with the deluxe windshield, also known as a dead cat. Let me know in the comments which recording sounds best to you. All the audio has been untouched. There was no post-processing done. This audio was just straight from the microphone plugged directly into the computer. Of course, this entire video was recorded using the Andy Cine ACM1 microphone. Let me know how it sounds in the comments below. So to conclude, the microphone is very simple and easy to use. You literally just take it out of the box, use the included smartphone cable to connect to your laptop, smartphone, or tablet, or you could use the included camera cable to connect to your camera. Of course, if you're using it to connect to your laptop, you want to ensure that the end with the sticker that shows the little smartphone icon is the end that you actually connect to your laptop. It has the three rings. So ensure that you use the correct end to connect. Okay, so the main downside I find recording with this microphone, and it's not just with this microphone, but rather with any microphone that uses the headphone jack on your laptop or phone or tablet, is that as soon as you plug it into that port, it disables your laptop's built-in speakers. So basically it means that you aren't able to monitor your recording. And essentially, you have to unplug the microphone to use your laptop speakers. All right. Now, I just want to say thanks again for stopping by and checking out the g -Thentic channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please go right ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.